boys and girls. So this is my silly stack of snails. You can see it's created with three circles. You could trace these circles like with a can or a bottle of paint or the lid to Tupperware, anything you have with a circle or you could draw it, okay? And all you need is a pencil and then afterwards if you wanna trace it with Sharpie and then watercolor it, this is just a sample of what it could look like. So we're gonna start out by making three circles, kind of like you would if you were doing a snowman. If you turn your pencil upside down, you can start by just making a nice circle shape. And then when you think that you have that shape, then you can go ahead and trace it with your pencil. Your first one should be about the size of a tangerine. You could make it a little bit smaller, but you don't want them really, really small. You're trying to fit three on the page, but there's no reason you couldn't put four if you wanted to. So there's my first circle. My second circle is going to start right here at the top, and it's going to be a little bit bigger, like this. Remember to start with your eraser and then your pencil. And my last one is going to be nice and big, right underneath. Now, if it looks a little bit like a snowman right now, you've got to correct. In fact, that's how you could do a three-part snowman. Then, to do the spiral in the inside, the first thing you want to do is just put a little dot where you think the center of each circle is. Whenever you're making a spiral, always start in the center. It will turn out better. The next thing is to use a pencil in case you want to stop. Um, and slowly, you're going to go round and round and round. The key here is that no line should touch another line. So it doesn't matter if you start out right or start out left. Watch me, I'm gonna go round and round and round until I run into the side, okay? You could go the other direction. It really wouldn't matter which direction you go. The main thing is the lines don't touch. And when you run out of room, you just run it off the side. See how I'm getting these nice spirals? Think of doing one of those cool suckers with a spiral the same way too which would be really fun if you wanted to just make a giant lollipop. I'm just gonna keep going round and round till I hit the side. And there I have my snail bodies. They have these little slug tails that come out the side. So you wanna go straight across on each one, making each one a little bit longer. See how it's a little bit longer? Oops, got my pencil in the way there. And then I'm just gonna curve it around and go back like a triangle shape. Curve it around, go back. See how that looks a lot like a triangle? Curve around and go back. And what you're trying to do is make them get a little bit smaller, but if they don't, it's not really important. Then we're gonna start at the belly and curve up. Start at the belly and curve up. And it's really important that you don't touch the side of the page, okay? Start at the belly and curve up. Then all you want to do is make a U shape going back. A U shape going back. And try to make this guy a little bit smaller. You see how the U's are a little bit different? Now here's the tricky part. You don't want to go back to here. You want to go back up here. So when you go back into the shell, it looks a little bit more like a U. Okay. Now, snails have these funny looking eyeballs that stick up off their heads. So we're gonna do two lines together. One, two, skip a space, one, two. And you can make those as long as you want. You could even make them curve, which could give it a different personality, like that one. Or maybe curve the other way. Two together, skip a space, two together. Now they have these little circles on the ends. Now these ones here are kind of small. I'm also, look at the different expressions I have. This one looks worried, this one looks mad, and this one looks happy. So you just want to start at the end here and make a circle, but you could go a lot bigger to make them look a little more animated if you wanted or you could go a little bit smaller. It really doesn't matter. That's what's kind of fun about this lesson. And you could even make them gigantic. Wow, look at those. 
Now you can want to have to decide about what kind of expression do I want? Do I want a happy face, a sad face, an angry face? And just kind of be playing with it. I'm going to make this one sad. Maybe like he's on the bottom and it's like, oh my goodness. Well, if he's, his eyes would probably be drooping a little bit. Look what I'm going to do when I fill in his eyes. I'm going to leave a little tiny white at the top, just like a little sparkle in his eye when I filled it in. Now you could just fill it in with pencil or even colored pencil. See that poor guy? And to go with that, I'm going to give him some little expression eyebrows. They go way up here. <laughs> That's quite cute. Now this guy's kind of sad, probably because everybody's piled on top of him. This one is a little surprised. Big open mouth. Oh no! I'm going to put his little eyeballs here in the center like this. You can see how that matches. And I'm going to just put his eyebrows way up here like, oh no. You could even fill in the inside of his mouth or make it look like he has little buck teeth. Check this out. <laughs> Snails really don't have teeth. Okay. And then on here, I'm just going to make the happy guy that's just sitting up on top. He's just nice and happy. Look at his cute little smile. I'm even going to give him little cheeks and maybe some little eyelashes. So she's just sitting up there, just happy with the rest of them. Now, whenever you draw something like this, you don't want to just leave it floating in space. You always want to put ground underneath it, but you wouldn't want to put it right at the bottom. You would want to lift it up and kind of run through like this, stopping and starting to show it going behind. So this is the ground and this is the sky up here. If you like this, you could add some little trail marks on the ground here. You know how the snail has little trail marks. And that's really our drawing. I just wanted to go over this one with you and just to tell you what I did here. What I did was I added water and then a few different colors and I just kind of dropped them in. And I painted just a little bit of color under their belly and kind of blended it in so it stayed light. For the background, I put tons of water on it and just a little bit of blue. And then here I started with yellow and put dashes of orange and orange yellow in the dirt. So you can see that's just the way I wanted to paint them. They don't have to be painted. They look awfully cute just like this. And they would still be cute in crayon or colored pencil. You could do some really wild designs on them. If you curve the lines like this, it tends to make the shell look more rounded. Check this out. Notice how when I go around it with these curved lines, it really makes the shell look more three-dimensional. Isn't that fun? I think that's kind of cool. If you like that look, you might want to put that in. Uh, to me, that looks more like a round, round, round shell. Now, these ones are all curving one direction. The next one, they could all curve the other direction. Notice that these lines don't touch each other. These are just like the little lines of division between them. And you could color them, maybe do a rainbow of color going around and around inside the shell and change the colors. Think of all the patterns that you could put on. There's no reason why you couldn't do them straight. I'm going to show you what they look like. You could do them straight. They aren't going to make the shell look as round as if you did them curved. So you kind of have to think, of, do I want any lines? Do I want any details? And what do I want them to look like? How can I vary them so that I like the way it looks? Remember, I'm always just giving you ideas, right? I'm actually going to take this guy right here and stick a little bow tie on him with the square and two triangles. Kind of fun, huh? And since this one kind of looks like a little girl, right up here, maybe I'll put a little um, t bow. I know these things are silly, so you can decide what you want to do. Okay? Anyway, have fun, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye.